Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that is a little... First of all, my voice is a bit strange, I was a bit sick at the weekend and I did some damage to my throws, I think. So if I sound a bit weird, if my voice cracks and breaks, I promise I'm not going through puberty again. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this individual on Twitter who is claiming to have inside sources and he's been, you know, pretty regularly tweeting out these things and if they're true very exciting for us as playstation virtual reality fans as you know viewer fans in general or if you're a sony fan in general he's got a lot of stuff to say about playstation and of course playstation a very secretive company you know leaks don't come very easy uh, so that the fact that this fella is like spitting out some juicy goss nearly every second day a little bit suspicious by itself but what i wanted to do was take a closer look at him because there's some people who do give him some ways uh, apparently he's gotten some things right in the past but after doing a bit of research i believe he's gotten a good few things wrong in the past as well i'm not going to say one way or the other definitively whether i think he is making these things up or maybe he believed them to be correct at the time and he was being misled or plans changed or whatnot to pop up his Twitter page and just to give you an example of what I mean first of all his name is Rythian he doesn't actually have a real name available on this profile you know for all I know this isn't even his real mugshot claims he is a video game industry analyst although no links to any such like business or is this like a hobby he's putting this down as uh, I don't really know and he's gotten himself nearly 2,000 followers, of which I am one, just in case he's actually, you know, spilling some legit beans. Uh, but as you scroll through, you'll see a lot of PlayStation related stuff, so I'm just going to try and find uh, something spicy. Okay, so I don't even have to go down that far. The 10th of May, yesterday, he posted that the PlayStation Studios slash Bungie Studios slash and then blank, blank, blank implying that he knows that there's going to be at least three other studios that Sony will acquire and that they'll be doing a showcase in 2023. I mean, big if true, you know? He's put out the blanks here. I mean, is that Square Enix? Is it Warner Bros? There's another one here. It could be Ubisoft. I don't know. You know I'm not claiming that's what he said. I'm just guessing there myself. And the annoying thing about this is that, you know, he tweets so often that it's hard to get back in the timeline, if you know what I mean. I gotta do a lot of scrolling. The finger gets tired. So yeah, in this one here, he claims to have inside knowledge of what Marvel, or not Marvel, Insomniac Studios are working on. And down here he claims that Insomniac games don't like being known for other people's IPs, uh, hence why they won't be sticking with Spider-Man forever. Uh, which actually, you know, makes sense, even though Spider-Man has brought them a great deal of success. Just below that he claims Insomniac has two projects launching this year before Spider-Man 2 down here he's got a breakdown on five different studios and how many projects they're working on insomniac he says they're working on seven projects simultaneously fire sprite working on five san diego working on three london working on three naughty dog three i mean naughty dog three is pretty um obvious now so i'm not saying less he's wrong about these things a lot of this could be like guesswork and a lot of it could be could be that he has sources telling him these things whether or not they're true or not is another story altogether. But for example, Naughty Dog, we've heard about The Last of Us remake that's coming, so that's one. Factions multiplayer two. And then you assume they're working on a new IP or maybe a sequel to The Last of Us, a proper sequel, uh, like a part three. So that will cover three different projects, but that's like guesswork. So I'm just gonna try and scroll down to where he says something about the or he was talking about um, a Harry Potter game coming to PSVR 2. Another Batman game coming to PSVR 2. Uh, I think he named Stormlands from Insomniac a re uh, either a remaster or a remake of the original Stormlands plus Stormlands 2, which is Insomniac's virtual reality game that was over on the Oculus. So here we go, here's one of the tweets. Uh, he claims he was given a breakdown uh, of what Insomniac Games is working on, so I thought I'd share. So Team 1 working on a new Ratchet & Clank game which is coming in just two years. Team 2, Spider-Man 2, which we know. Team 3 is working on a new IP. Team 4 working on Stormland Remastered plus Stormland 2. 5 and 6, two new IPs, and then Team 7, Wolverine. So, I mean, this is a treasure trove of information on all these studios if he's able to 
get them, you know, it's just interesting then. Like, I don't think I've ever seen another active leaker, or another leaker as active as this fella is. Anyway, you get the idea of what I'm saying with his Twitter profile here. I don't want to go through this, because I'm only on May 8th, which is four days ago, three days ago. Uh, so we'd be here all year if I wanted to get down to the juicy stuff. So I did some Googling, pulled up his name, this uh, Reddit thread here, which is in or slash leaks and rumors. Which is a, it is a popular enough uh, subreddit for these kinds of things, leaks and whatnot. So, big audience. This particular thread talks about Lumberjack Rye, which is his Twitter handle, as you can see. If I scroll back up to the top, just to confirm it, I don't want to be spreading any misinformation. Lumberjack Rye, that's his Twitter handle. He's at, as they say on the streets. Uh, he gives some hints about a PS5 exclusive. Uh, but the interesting thing is not necessarily whatever his hint is, because he does that all the time. It's this reply from the moderator who said, I'm not going to flag this post as false or misleading since we actually don't know, but I would encourage people to take this as false in the meantime since this user doesn't have a good track record at all. And then he links, or she links to this uh, Imger, Imger, Imger? I've never said that out loud, so I don't know how this is. Post, which was compiled from this user, NGK22. So we go over to this, and we'll see a bunch of screens. And from what I understand, the stuff that he gets wrong, he seems to delete these tweets. Uh, so there's a bunch of receipts here, basically. And there's a lot. We'll go through some of them. Um, this one is from 2018, where he claimed Sony Interactive Entertainment San Diego Studio considers expanding their sports lineup, including basketball, football, soccer games, if all goes to plan. That was from 2018. No such thing has happened. Could it have been something that they were thinking about? Maybe. And then the plans fell through. You could say that for a lot of these, but at the same time, at what point do you like say, well, that's just wrong. This one is about Death Stranding. Now this one is blatant, like really a big red flag. This one uh, only on PlayStation. The PC version was canceled years ago when Kojima Productions picked Decima as an engine and sold the IP to Sony Interactive Entertainment. Kojima did pick Decima as the engine. They got it for free from Sony, and they did give Sony the rights to uh, Death Stranding. However, the game still came to PC, and that was always part of the plan. It came out like, a, was it even a year later? I can't remember, but it came to PC. So that's the wrong one right there. And that was from 2018, Kojima Productions and Kojima Productions Amsterdam are about to be Sony Studios. Just watch, 2017, five years ago, still independent. I heard Sony Interactive Entertainment is hosting an event in March focused on PlayStation Originals. I assume it never happened, seeing as it's in this compilation, but that was from 2017. Resistance rumored to get a TV show, never happened. Again, that was just a rumor though, these things can fall through. Yeah, so here he lists out PlayStation Original like TV shows. 2021, last year. So this was posted in 2020. So Sly Cooper was supposed to get a TV series on HBO. Twisted Metal, that's been rumored for a while that something is in the works there. I don't know if it's HBO, uh, but I think that is coming. Parappa the Rapper, doesn't look like it's 2022 Horizon movie, and then Ratchet and Clank and the new IP movies. So none of these things have actually happened. Twisted Metal, has that even been confirmed? I can't remember. Uh, I know, I think Anthony Mackie is supposed to be staring at that. And then again, he tweets about Kojima Productions getting acquired. 2019, never happened. 2019, he can confirm that PSX, uh, 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 SEA, I don't know what SEA is, is next month, followed by the normal PSX in November. And of course, there's been no PSX for many, many years. So that never happened. 2019, Insomniac has been offered over half a billion in the past from what I heard, and they haven't budged. They just do not want to be under someone and it's likely to never change. Now see, this sounds like it's his opinion. So I wouldn't include this in like something, like he was wrong obviously, but at the time he may have been right, you know, maybe before Spider-Man, this was Insomniac's position on thing. Here in 2020, he claims he's, he's letting the cat out of the bag on a Blue Point Games Metal Gear Solid remake only on PS5, never happened. Here he's talking about Sony unveiling a new AAA title at an Xbox event, which is a bit outlandish. Here he claims that he reached out to industry friends and that Fire Sprite Games is not working on Twisted Metal. From what I understand, Lucid Games were working on Twisted Metal. The director of that moved to Fire Sprite and he brought the project with him somehow. 
Uh, so it could be that I, when this was tweet, this tweet was made in January. I don't know the time and the timeline of this. Maybe he was right when he said it, but I feel like um, Twisted Metal is in Fire Sprite's hands now. Last I heard. Again, that's all rumors, though, not confirmed. And then this one in October last year, from what he heard by a few, is that Sony is looking to acquire the entire Oculus brand for 4.6 billion. Included in that are the studios Ready at Dawn, Sinzaru, and Beat Games. If no announcement is made by the end of October, the deal fell through. Now that's a crazy notion. Uh, however, it's entirely possible that Sony did try to do this and that the deal did fall through because obviously Meta are gun ho on the quest and keeping the metaverse going and all this kind of stuff. Um, and 4.6 billion, we know that with Bungie, Sony are kind of willing to spend that kind of money. Um, so not completely outlandish, although it'd be like Microsoft buying PlayStation, you know, taking out a direct competitor. While I don't agree with some of some of these tweets being included in this compilation as proof that he was wrong, because some of it is kind of opinion, some of it maybe could have been true, and like stuff that fell through, but the Kojima stuff in particular, uh, clearly false, and you know, probably San Diego studio stuff, a bunch of other stuff, maybe. Uh, so again, I'm not going to say one way or the other, I'm just going to present, you know, the facts as we see before us, before you believe certain PSVR rumors that are going around based on this, especially with PSVR 2, uh, you know, we're all very thirsty for that, we're all kind of grasping on any straws we can guess, uh, so if someone wanted to make up a bunch of rumors, PSV or two would be a good target for that. And if any of the stuff turns out to be true, if there is a Harry Potter virtual reality game coming, another Batman virtual reality game coming, then, you know, and Sly Cooper and whatever else he's predicted, any of that stuff starts coming true, we can look back to this guy again and be like, okay, he's right about some things, we're gonna, you know, give some credence to some of these leaks. But until then, I think I'm gonna be in a bit of a more doubtful category uh, rather than anything else. So yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this something you believe? Something, maybe you've heard different rumors. Maybe you've seen things he's been right about. Uh, maybe you've seen other things he's been wrong about. Again, some stuff has been deleted by him that he did get wrong, which is a red flag as well. Um, but again, maybe he was getting harassed about it. So he was like, well, in fact, this, I'm going to delete it so I can stop being harassed about a, something that didn't turn out to be true and it was outside of his control etc etc anyway that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and if you're looking forward to more ps viewer 2 news information gameplay videos whatever then you know consider subscribing sticking around liking the video the usual of course thank you to decepticon for letting me use his music and all of my videos until next time please stay dripping wet moist